Just kidding. I need to Wait. put... Well, everything's just about ready to go. And... I'm looking for a mic to put... on the snare. Not this one that you have over here? Nope. It changed my mind. I'm gonna go with a Rode NT5. You're gonna be using this cable, though? And that's, you know, it would, you would, yeah, I'm gonna use that cable. I'm looking for a clip. Um, back in the day, I used to use this thing on, uh, everything. I used to try to. It was the best mic I had at the time. And the type of, uh, high mid rangey sound that you would get out of this thing for those two might be right for this. I gotta hear it. So I'm gonna, what the fuck? How was I thinking? Look at that. You know, you do what you gotta do to make things work sometimes. This is probably on one of those stands that was uh, seen better days. Things are gonna fall. Things are gonna settle in as the earthquakes of chamber of Jesus fucking looking out for the... Alright, so this is... Oh, so you're looking for the other end of the John. But maybe I could use this clip instead. Well, because th there it is. It's on top of the John. Okay, over here. You know what the best part about uh, this song? See this symbol right here? Throw it away. You see this hi-hat right here? Look at it. But me also. There's no tambourine in Tomorrow Never Knows. I meant no hi hat in Tomorrow Never Knows. Throw it away. We're gonna throw it away. That's right. So now I have this handy little John, and I'm gonna. Oh, okay. I think it's time to just make a video on this by itself. Like how to? No, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do that. You got this clamp, and you put it in the dinghy box. You know, bam. You get this happening. We're going to clamp it over here. I wanted to kind of share both of these and kind of have it away from the ride. Both these are supposed to be like Tom-ish. Something is wrong with this. There it goes. I'm gonna try to get most of the sound from the overheads, but I'm gonna reinforce it with this guy, just for some extra crack. Um, the cord that this guy was in, now I'm gonna go into this. Okay, now look over here. This is this like expansion unit, I have this thing, it's a, it's just a, it's the Ultra Gain Pro 8 Digital, it's the ADA8. I don't even care about what it's called. It doesn't matter. What it does is through light pipe, it allows me to like plug in and get an, an additional eight tracks on my John. I get one through eight on the Pro Tools that comes with it, and I got nine through 16 on this thing. So uh, it says 11 through 18 because nine and 10 are reserved for digital tracks, which can also be have. I have a total of 18 tracks. That's like a. Uh, that I can bring in simultaneously. So I have um, all these mics plugged in. If I remember correctly, it's the snare, a kick, the overhead, the overhead, and then the other kick. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit Control Shift N. I'm going to create five new tracks. That's something the Beatles couldn't do. I guess they could, you know. It was Revolver. They had eight tracks, I think. But anyway, I'm going to assign these now, each of these, to each of these inputs. So on the interface, this is ADAT1, and then ADAT2, and so on. So I'm telling each of these tracks to pull data from the inputs of each of those microphones that are plugged into. The microphone going into the pre, that's analog, but it converts it to digital and allows us to use ADAT to get it. 
I'm gonna make all this a group. The way I do that is I control shift G over here. I'm gonna have a group, I'm gonna name it drums. Bam. I'm gonna mute all those dudes. Gender neutral dudes. All these are turned down. I got the lowest thing. Let's hit record. Why is it on the timer? I don't remember having it on the timer. That's not fair. It's not useful for this video. Pa We're gonna see if we get anything on these tracks, okay? We don't need the floor tom in this song, so it doesn't matter if there's a laptop on it. That's important is that the rag tom is a... It's gotta be up high, it's gotta be similar range to the snare, alright? I saw some video where the guy was saying it had to be lower or higher, I don't even remember, but it's kinda really similar, that's what matters. So this guy... Looks like I'm not getting any of them. Has something to do with the jaw on the back. Oh. Let's see if that works. Okay, it looks like it does. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna record. Paused it. I got a mallet. I'm looking for a mallet. Yeah, I'm a mallet. Do I have a mallet? I think I found a mallet. Alright, do I have a better mallet? Do I have this one? I'm looking for a better mallet. I'm looking for a better mallet. Okay, alright, so I saw some video where some guy was using a stick. And he was using a hand on the rack. And I was using one hand on the rack. He was doing that, and I was like, what? So like, like kind of go like a, kind of like that, so you're like. I don't want to play it like that, because back in the day, you had that, that pingy thing to cut through the tape and stuff. When you listen to the original Tomorrow Never Knows, you don't hear so much of the ping, possibly because so many generations of the tape loop deteriorated the attack. So, I'm thinking about using a mallet. Get that swish going. So, just to get the tempo right, I gotta try to sing along with it. looking to make a loop so it doesn't matter if I can play drums or not and if I can get ready through the whole song all we need is just one repetition of the loop one repetition of the loop for it to be uh, workable all right so looks like that one clipped it doesn't matter though I have all the preamps down you know so I would have to plug it into this other thing if I want to trim but let's go see what we got all right I'm gonna come up in here I'm gonna unmute all of these I'm gonna take them out of record mode BAM I think this is what we need. Yeah, this is good. Hell yeah. Now I'm gonna pan the two overhead. This is exactly what we need. Alright, so we're not out of the woods yet though. We gotta, we gotta loop it. Can we compare this to the stick? Can we compare the stick to the mallet? Listen to it with the stick. I can't play drums, but now listen to the mallet. Sounds way more like it. All right. So now that this is the fun part. We're going to zoom in here. And we're going to make a loop out of this. 
Now we're gonna find each of these downbeats. We're gonna listen to each repetition of the loop that I played and judge each of them. The rack time was late. Rack time was shitty. That the second rack time wasn't pronounced enough. That might have worked. Seems kind of lame though. It's technically right, but I don't know if it's going to work. Let's try a loop in this and see if it feels good or not. Oh, do I have it on loop mode or not? I don't like it. I think the spacing is between the two f kick drums and the two rack toms. I can think we do better. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna loop this one real quick. I don't think it's fast enough. I'm gonna listen to someone. Oh, that one has a shitty rack tom. That one's kind of cool. I'm gonna listen to that again. I'm gonna put this one on loop. I think we have a winner. It's not ideal, but it's workable, okay? And that's all I'm trying to do in the amount of time I have, so I don't have much. So to isolate this drum, I'm gonna hit Control E, and that's gonna make its own region out of both sides, right? So I'm gonna select everything before it, I'm gonna go into shuffle mode, and I'm gonna delete everything before it. I'm gonna hit enter to go back to the beginning. I'm gonna take everything after it, I'm gonna delete that too. I'm gonna to go back to grid mode this time, and I'm gonna hit the end of this loop. I'm gonna compare it to Ringo. It's pretty close. Holy shit. It's really close. I'm gonna, um... Ha! It's within one millisecond close. Can I play Ringo's now? But goes. I'm too laid back. His is a little more up front, his rag tom. I wish I could edit mine a little bit to do that. And I think I will. You're not going to tell anybody, right? So I just did that because you can do that. But now I don't have enough space on this side. So let's try to compensate. Not, not, but I was rushing it. Rushing it. But let's see what we get if we... I'm going to take all this and I'm going to hit... Alt R. That's number of repeats. Let's do fucking 999 repeats. You get the hourglass because that's a tall request. It did it. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to look at my sitar, John, that we got. My 22 minute sitar track. Okay, 99 repeats is a little more than a half hour. I'm going to look at the end of the sitar track, and I'm going to cut the drums off there, so we'll have a good 22 minutes of drums. So I'm going to hit play, and you're going to behold this drum loop that I just made just now with real drums. You know, like mythical creatures, right? You know, like I just looked at all these microphones, you know, boom. I didn't even do any mixing. You're just hearing the raw microphones. Like, imagine, like, if you took the time to EQ and compress and gate and do, like, reverb with gated, you know, all right, so I'm going to hit play. Alright, it's not ideal, but it works. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. That's how to record your own drum loop in Slow Tools in 2004 using real drums. You know, I can't put it. What it does. That's a bass. Play that song. If my video goes anywhere, people are gonna like my thing. Because they're gonna be like, whoa, Mallet, you're right.